Ramana Maharshi's words are deep and direct. My comments are intended to bring his deep words into your experience. Use YouTube's closed captions to read along. This week, I'll complete the review of the Ramana Maharshi text, Upadesha Saram, The Essence of Instruction. I'll cover verses 26 through 30, in which Ramana talks about the experience of the self-realized. I'm using Professor Swami Nathan's translations. Now, on to Ramana's words. Verse 26. To know the self is but to be the self, for it is non-dual. In such knowledge, one abides as that. This is non-duality. Knowledge and being are one and the same, not two different things. Knowing is being. Knowing the self is not like knowing an object. Rather, it is knowing the subject knowing the knower. <laughs> you don't know the knower with your mind. The knower knows the mind. The only way you know the knower is to be the knower. The next verse, 27. It is true knowledge that transcends both knowledge and ignorance, for in pure knowledge is no object to be known. This true knowledge transcends knowledge and ignorance, since both of these are for the mind. True knowledge is experienced directly, in the same way as you know that you exist. True knowledge is non-dual. This means that you no longer see anything as separate from the self. If nothing is separate, are there any separate objects to be known? Verse 28. Having known one's nature, one abides as being, with no beginning and no end, in unbroken consciousness and bliss. Did existence ever have a beginning? When you discover that you are existence, then do you have a beginning? What has no beginning will have no end. Beginning and ending are just two parts of the same duality. Non-dual reality just is as it is. It did not start at some time, nor will it end at another. It just is. Verse 29, beyond bondage and release is steadfastness in service of the Lord. When you are past both bondage and release as non-dual reality, everything is one without even the idea of one. All that you see, all that you do, is then in service of that one. What else is there? So serve willingly and joyfully. The last verse, verse 30. All ego gone, living as that alone. Is penance good for growth, sings Ramana.
the self. Tapas, penance, is often called for in spiritual practice. Standing as the self, what is there to do? Nothing more needs to be done. All there is to do is to be. Stand as the self. Live as that alone. Ramana was asked what he did to serve the world. He answered, just show that I exist. Another time he said, your own self-realization is the greatest service you can render the world. By listening to these words today and reflecting and meditating on them, then we are taking our own steps to our own self-realization. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this Ramana Maharshi video, subscribe, like, and send me a comment.